Let's imagine somebody just controlling from the north south and not more from the side control. So what do you mean? If it's from the side control, we all used to like to escape from that, but sometimes when the person just do the, a little transition for the north south, that's when things get a little more complicated. Sometimes the person can try to trap with both arms in. But because you're both arms in and you have a little bit of like more strength to kind of push the guy out and maybe try to escape. So a lot of the time the person just like a control one arm in and one arm out. You know what I mean? So this is kind of like an average situation. That's what I believe is going to happen most. You know what I mean? Or sometimes the person just going to with both arms out. In like out like that. But let's, let's work from like a halfway because every time if you just have one arm free, that's enough to try to escape. So I have this arm free, this arm is kind of trapped. So what I gotta do is, I gotta protect this arm, don't let him throw in his face. If I let him throw in his face, he can easily like a walk with the kimura. So if I have this arm in, just hide from his face. And now the arm that I have out, I gotta just put under him. Under him and pass it out the side. You guys understand? So I pass under him, now I'm gonna start like pushing and move like towards his legs, like that. And one more time, we're gonna be in the side control. So now from the side control, I believe you guys already have much more like a idea to escape because we that more more often. So this arm that I pass under, now it's gonna just reach his elbow. I reach his elbow, keep your thumb point down. Never thumb up, thumb point down, and now I just start to push his, his elbow out. Once I start to push his elbow, I'm gonna start just like a rock, my feet to try like sit up. Sit up and try again. And this is my elbow on the mat. And then I continue to sit up and get my hand out just to move away. He always gonna start like a try to pass a guard again. So you have to still like a pay attention to his arm because you don't wanna let him in the middle of our escape, he just get on the side again. So one more time. He's on the side control. Could be the other side or could be, could be two hands free, but I just have one hand free. This arm, don't leave him from his face. Put it on the other side. This hand come under, and just going on his ribs on the other side. And now just start to push. push him. This arm is kind of trapped. This hand is going to reach over there. Once I reach over there, I start to like sit up, rock my leg, and keep your head up. You need your head up because I don't want him to come with his weight on top of my head. Now I keep pushing and move away. Every time we reach his elbow, Every time we reach his elbow and we extend our arm, we, we beat like the position. Now I know he cannot come back again. So try getting this position as soon as possible. Reach the elbow, arm extended. We got back from the same position and I have this arm like a pretty much free and this arm is strapped but it's been protected, it's not under his face. So I protect it on the other side. So the hand that is free, I try to pass on the other side. Sometimes, even if it's flat, flat it away. <laughs> even if it's flat, you have to try like kind of get, you know, get a room to get your hand like out of, out of here, right? But sometimes, I have the position ready to go and try to reach his elbow, but he realized he, he's losing control and he just like switch his arm to this arm to my head. I have to stop this. I can't let this happen. If you reach my head, he's gonna maybe con uh, connect your hands. And now I'm gonna just be stuck again. So we don't wanna let the, he get that far. So I have this. As soon as I start to move him, I feel he, he goes hold my head, I point his arm. Even he's try to hold you there, this kinda help him like to have more control. So don't let him like, uh, do this. This hand kinda stop him. But now, sometimes this hand, I cannot do just like that. The, hand, the same hand that I stopped is the hand that I was supposed to push. I cannot do this and reach his arm. It's too much. So I hold, I pass his arm over with this hand, and now I reach his elbow. You guys understand? Keep my arm extended, lock, and we keep doing the same thing. So the other person, just like once got back to the side control, he want to just hold your head. And you guys just gotta stop that. One side, one out, the other side I protect, the hand goes under. As soon as he feel, I just stop his hand. Don't let, don't let him close the distance. Just push him away. This hand helps to push over. And now just grab his elbow. Keep your arm extended. Rock it. Elbow on the mat. Skip, skip, hand on the mat. Keep moving. 